If you're a subscriber of this channel for at least 3 to 4 years, you'll remember this Q&A announcement video. With that in mind, you're probably wondering what happened to that video. Well, I actually shot the video shortly after the announcement, but unfortunately, I didn't like the quality of it. At the time when I saw it, I thought, okay, it, it, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. I'll just film the entire thing this time. And I thought next time would be the next day or the next week. Next week became next three years. Hello, it's 2021. I'm already in my 20s. I was 17 when they made that video. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys remember me, so... <laughs> Who's my red velvet bias? I mean, I still believe it's Wendy, but recently I have been becoming bias wrecked by Sulgi. I never thought this day would come, but don't tell Chelsea. Chelsea, if you're watching this, hi. Forgive me. You know, you can share. What was your first ever K-pop dance that you learned? Um, it depends, because K-pop has been famous here in the Philippines even before it got mainstream, so... It depends. I was one of those people who had a I hate K-pop face. And look how that turned out. I was pre-K-pop fan. I think it would be FX Electric Shock. When I was in elementary, we had to perform a dance. And the leader from my group was a huge FX fan. So we, en we ended up just doing that. But as a K-pop fan, I think the first dance I learned was BTS Dope. And that's mostly thanks to my Attack on Titan addiction. <laughs> Which is the very reason why I got into BTS and in K-pop in the first place. Do you by any chance know Hamilton? Do I have it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I knew about it when, I, when it came out. One of my friends who was really into musicals gave me a copy for the album and I listened to it thoroughly. <laughs> and yeah, I like it. But you know, now that I've gotten a chance to actually watch the musical thanks to streaming, yes. I didn't do anything illegal. I don't really get what it, what's the point. <laughs> the whole thing's supposedly a fictional history. Maybe it's because my idea of giving national heroes an adaptation is different. Here in the Philippines, if we make movies about national heroes, there, there's always a meaning to it. It always serves as a lesson. But yeah, the, the songs rock though. Its favorite song is Satisfied and Skyler Sisters. It's very obvious at this point. No, 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 work. I love your videos. Do you still? I mean, if you stuck around, I'm happy. <laughs> Again, I'm from the Philippines, so. What equipment are you using in making videos? First off, it's this camera that I'm using. It's an EOS 700D. It's my first DSLR camera, and I love it. Venro tripod. This mic. I don't know what this mic is. It's not. This uh, isn't actually my mic. It's my sister's mic, but it's still a mic, so I'll use it. <laughs> I use this computer to edit. Pavilion. HP. I'm planning to learn Premiere Pro and Da Vinci soon, but I do not have a copy of Premiere. So if, if you guys have it, a copy, pl please, please, just please give give me one. How much does that leather jacket cost? Unfortunately, the leather jacket is no longer with us, and it does not matter how much I bought it for. It's to me, it's priceless. It has served a good three years. The leather just started to fall off. Old age, I guess. It will be missed until I buy the next leather jacket. Favorite philosopher. My friend is the one who actually asked this. I was really into philosophy time. And right now I can't say I have one because I haven't been studying it for a while. Can I say Jesus? <laughs> Jesus is my favorite philosopher. But yeah, at the time, um, and I think I still kind of do, I like Aristotle mainly because you know, philosophy tragedy. So right now I can't really say He's my favorite because, you know, it turns out he thinks women are lower than men. So that's, th there's that. You think you know a guy, right? Will I make more dance covers? If you still remember this Q&A announcement. One, I thank you <laughs> for sticking around. I mean, I don't know why you still wait around for my content. And, but I really appreciate it. As for the content I'm making, I've come to a realization that I do want to do other stuff that is creatively fulfilling. Don't worry, the dance covers will 
still be there but I will also do other stuff mainly just like the deep and thought videos right now and some other weird odd and funny projects all of those plans will soon be uncovered yeah until then I thank you for watching this video whether you've been a fan for that long or just a new fan for someone who just recently subscribed to the channel comment down below because i really appreciate it when you guys comment it lets me know that you guys are there and a question for you guys how did you find my channel why did you guys subscribe and most importantly how are you guys well till then see you guys next time <laughs>